Hey, Eric Allen, Fast Rescue Solutions. Uh, today we're gonna to be going over the fast board for your virtual demo. We're gonna go over all the components on it uh, and some uses. So to start off with, it's a short board, we're 45 inches. We're 18 inches across. Uh, the handles at the top are about four inches off the floor. The handles are also eight inches wide on the openings, and that's so that you can get two full gloved hands inside of them so we're not fighting for space if we've got multiple people picking the board up. Working our way down the board, um, we have our haul bag. Inside we have about 24 feet of uh, bell out rope, so we don't have to worry about it getting cut or burnt. It's folded over and knotted every 12 to 15 inches. That's so we can get a good handhold on it if we're pulling it to us. We can also use those loops uh, throughout the rope to hook in our mechanical advantage or anything else. The red and the blue bag are our horizontal bridles. So red to the head, blue to the bottom. And we would just take them through the handles underneath the board, back under there, and bring them together for our horizontal lift. The black bag is a multi-loop strap. We use it for a haul line, a drag strap, we can use it if we can't get the board beside the down firefighter or civilian. We can use this to either do some handcuff knots or on the feet or the hands, get a quick drag out to a better position to the board, get them loaded, then start going from there. The strap going across the middle of the board is a utility strap. You can store your writ bag under here on, when you have it on the apparatus. Uh, you can use it for some patient stabilization if it's a civilian, but it's not going to be long enough to go across that SCBA. The webbing inside the board is Kevlar. It's rated at 5,500 pounds. Uh, you don't have to worry so much about it getting cut or burnt like you would with nylon. You can see all along the sides and in the middle, we have a lot of strips. These are photoluminescent and reflective. We also have them on the bottom of the board. Just so if the board gets flipped over, we could have some visual reference to it. The bottom of the board is carved out. That's to lower our drag and lessen that friction. The 45 degree angles on the board allow it to combat rolling over. Uh, and the 45 degree at the front of the board helps to ride it over obstacles. We also have our electronics box here. For our lighting system, you've got a charging port, port and an on-off switch. So we've turned down the lights so that you can see the indication light on the on-off switch and also you can see how bright the board is. So the lights run through the entire handles. The box is also flooded with silicone so that it's completely waterproof. Okay, so we're going to go over how to work the lashing system. Um, when we come up to the firefighter, we would be packaging them face down, so we're going to maneuver the board beside them. Um, we would strip our haul line off, and then from the inside of the board, everything's accessed from the inside of the frame. We're going to take our extra large carabiner out. It would go over the top of the firefighter, splitting the bottle and the head. We're gonna come through the legs. We're gonna find that bull ring. We can either twist it or we can pop it up and pull it out. You can see the top lashing and the bottom lashing are married in the middle with rigging rings. So when we get this, the firefighter on here, our connections and tighten it down, the board truly becomes a harness. So we would take this over the top of them. This comes up. If we connect to the bull ring, we're gonna be okay. It is a rated ring, but the tri-link is a lot stronger, so that's where we want to make our connection. Once we're there, we would call for that haul team, make sure that our lashing is in the right place, do our pull, and they would tighten up the system and we can start moving right away. So now we're going to go over the basic packaging of a down firefighter. If we find them in a face down position, we're going to have to roll them. If we come up and they're laying on their side, that's just going to help us out. We're gonna position the board between us. I'm gonna come up, do my quick evaluation. I'm gonna place the board pretty high on him because I wanna, when I package him, I want him to be low on the board. So if we're going to a confined space, if I need to go up to a low profile here, I'll be able to bend the body to be able to do a low radius turn around that. So when I come up, hand on the bottle, 
I'm gonna reach over and get that outside arm. If I tried to roll him now, that shoulder would get in the way. It would fight me to go over and I'd probably end up hurting him. So hand on the bottle, I'm gonna come over, sweep, find that elbow, push it forward or grab that wrist and pull it forward. Then I'm gonna use the bottle as my tipping point and I'm gonna push him to the ground and pull that wrist. When I pull that wrist, I'm gonna pull it in front of him. So when I roll him, I'm gonna roll that bottle to the ground. I'm gonna pull that wrist in front and then I'm gonna sweep both hands down low, right? That helps contain those snag hazards. So I'm gonna reference the bag and about the top of his mask or his helmet. That's all gonna help me place him on the board low enough and it's gonna give me access to that top carabiner. So I'm gonna actually adjust that a little higher. Once I have him here, I'm gonna strip that bag off, let my haul team start deploying it out. I'm gonna reach over and get a purchase point on that, that bottle and I'm gonna pull him to the board and then I'm just gonna push the board to the ground and he'll load right inside of it. Come up, grab that extra large carabiner, pull it out over the top of him. I'm gonna come through the legs, find that bull ring, pull it up and out. Make my connection. And this is where I, I wanna run that as far forward as I can. And then split the bottle and run it over his shoulders. From here, if I have my haul team, I would just help, tell them to go for the haul, but I'm gonna move up and tighten it. As I tighten it, I'm gonna pull that haul line. It's gonna sink him right down to the board. It's gonna marry him to that board. As you can see, if I roll him, or if he gets rolled over, he'll just come right back with it. And then we'll keep on moving. When my haul team starts pulling, if I'm here, I'm just gonna take up those legs get in that good football stance and start driving along with them to get him moving as quickly as possible. And that's how we do our basic packaging. Loosening him up, we're gonna hit our cam buckles and just pull our webbing, drop everything down. From this position, we could put a firefighter on the ground beside him, sitting, and we could roll him into his lap, bottle between the legs, and then we'd be able to start our firefighter CPR to complete that mission. That's your basic packaging and unpackaging. So we're gonna go over how to reset the board. Once we've deployed it, we get outside, we wanna make sure that we're putting it back together properly. We're gonna take our extra large carabiner, we wanna pull it straight down, all right? That gives us our center easier to have somebody hit our cam buckles for us to kind of lengthen it back out, but you can get it done by yourself. We want that to stretch out about a foot and a half, two feet below the board, and then we're just gonna fold it back up and put it back into its position. The red and the blue bag, it's easier to take them off when we're restringing this. There's lots of extra Velcro here. Try not to set them on the ground they might get kicked under a car or into a grate or something. And so that's what that extra Velcro is for. We're gonna take that webbing and we're gonna pull straight down, get a little pinch. And then we're gonna just get a corner into the, the hole here, the opening, and just work it down inside the board. Same thing on the other side, straight down, little pinch. Takes a little work to get to get it down, but this is where I say the love is with the board. You gotta love it a little bit to reset it correctly. With this one, we're gonna pull this all the way up, fold down, drop our tri-link back in, and then we're just gonna do the same thing. Flat against the board, pull it up, get a pinch, work it up inside the board. With our haul line, we've got a bit a wider Velcro system, little tabs on it, make sure they're flat. And then go ahead and stick it to the board. Then it's a lot easier to open it up. It'll hold in that position so that we can stuff the rope back in. And then lastly, 
We don't want this carabiner banging around. So pull out a little bit of that line and you can just tuck it under this Velcro strap with the extra large carabiner and then everything's secure and ready to go again.